This is the latest dispatch just received in our newsroom. Now time for a little bit of tech chat on uh, JCB's hydrogen powered engine and I'm now joined by uh, Ryan Bollard from the company who's going to kindly talk us through it. So first of all Ryan, what's your role at JCB? Uh, so, so my role is uh, simple really, um, I get the pleasure of leading the team of engineers that work on fantastic products like this. Uh, so I'm engineering director for, for powertrain here at JCB. Right, so let's, let's talk about performance because that's yeah. what everybody yeah. wants to know. Of course, yeah. Tell us about some of the, the characteristics, the power characteristics, torque characteristics. Well, it, yeah, great point to ask and, and actually a, a key attribute for this program that, that I've set the team is, that, that we've set the team, is that the, the performance of this engine, this hydrogen engine, has to utterly mimic the performance of the diesel engine it replaces. And really what I mean by that is it's got the same torque curve, it's got the same power, it's got the same, you know, it works at the same engine speeds. The last thing mm. we need to do is start going, well, we need different gear ratios or we need yeah. different hydraulic this pumps. This has to slot in yeah, where a diesel engine would slot. sit, basically. And, and, it, and it's physically the same size. It interfaces with the same points on the machine, the charge air cooler, the, mm. the radiator pipes, the air cleaner. That all interfaces exactly the same. And then the resultant torque curve and characteristics when you're driving the machine are utterly, utterly the same. Right. So our first products are 55 kilowatts to go into our small construction uh, kit and then we're developing higher and higher power ratings and higher torque ratings on the back of those. Let's kind of get into a little bit more nitty gritty, I'm, I know I'm conscious of time, we've got, we've got a lot to get through <laughs> yeah, today. Yeah, we have, yeah. But I mean, just sort of talk us through top to bottom of the engine, just some of the key differences, you know, the elements of the engine. So top to bottom, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to start and go from bottom All to right, top. We'll go that way. Um, and the reason, and that's deliberate. Because so, that bit's familiar. <laughs> because that bit's familiar and this is, this is the key part of, of what we're doing here, we, we, we're leveraging that familiarity. Mm. So from the cylinder head down, it's, it's, a, it's a common you know, carryover block, bed plate, crankshaft, powertrain, that, that power conversion element is, is the same technology as our engines today. And that's great because it's dead robust, it's cost effective, yeah. it's rugged, it's fit for purpose. It's proven. It's proven, it's well proven. From the cylinder head up, that's where the changes come in for the hydrogen fueled motor. So we've got a new cylinder head to, to really perfect that gas mixing. We've got a new intake manifold where we, where we position the fuel injectors, the, de the, the hydrogen injectors, um, and that's where we inject the gas, and that's where we stimulate the mixing with the air as it's driven in. Um, we can't see it on this engine, it's under a load of heat insulation, but we've got a new turbocharger, and that forces even more air in, and we control that turbocharger very precisely, so, you know, millisecond by millisecond. Yeah, that airflow would be key to the... It absolutely is way. key. It's key yeah. to the mixing. It's key to the lean combustion recipe mm. that we're that we're running. Um, and then finally, when we've you know we've got that that mixture of hydrogen and air, we've squashed it into the cylinder. We've we've compressed it in the cylinder. We have a new piston bowl to get again the right compression ratio, the right mixing, and then we ignite that with our spark plugs that are in the top there. Yeah. With, you know, plug top coils, you know, bespoke uh, hydrogen injectors, bespoke ignition systems, mm. bespoke turbochargers, even even you know different cylinder uh, yeah. piston ring packs, all sorts of technologies. Is, is being so this changed. this engine then it's definitely it's a brand new engine. It's it not, is a brand new could, engine. You could yeah. call it an adapted diesel no, or no, an adapted no, petrol. No. It is. I mean, we, what we like to think is that we've kept the best bits yeah. <laughs> from the from the the well proven you know diesel engine, um, but. Uh, I think the dipstick might be carryover, and that's probably yeah. it. So you know, there's not an awful lot of carryover. Well, I was going to say, there's no carbon. So what's on the end of the dipstick when you pull it not out? A lot. Not a lot. Have a look. Let's go on. Go on. Let's have a look at this dipstick then. So, so this is prototype oil, but you can probably see this is clean as a whistle. That is, it's just yeah. So that's done hundreds of hours of running, and right. no carbon at all. Um, that's nuts. 
Which is nuts, but it, but it kind of brings it home, really, the simplicity of the solution. If you don't put carbon in, you don't, don't get CO2 out. out. Yeah. And, and that's as true as it in, in the oil as it is in the, in the fuel. That's it. So, yeah. so just moving